This is one of the heroes, as far as I'm concerned. He's probably Mr. Evil for some of you, but he is uh, one of the individuals leading the charge for the Wake County Public School System. John Tedesco, Wake County School Board member. They've used race. They've uh, kind of used accreditation. Now the federal government's coming after you guys. I mean, they're using race and fear. How do you feel about that? Well, I mean, we expected the opposition to do what they could to try and divide us as a community and strike fear across the community. They've tried... You know, claiming everything that from um, we were going to be anti-teacher or we were going to be classist or we were going to be racist or whatever the case may be. And, and the truth is we've accomplished a great deal in the last year and a half, and we've proved just the opposite. In less than uh, two years, we've showed our priorities. Uh, we've increased performance and placement for minority students in some of our advanced, most rigorous courses. We've reduced suspensions across the district, making our schools safer. We trimmed, well, $22 million last year, $88 million in this upcoming budget for a combined $100 million. And we did it all without cutting a single teacher because we're protecting our teachers. We're protecting our classrooms. We trimmed administrative fat to do it. And, and what's, what they're most afraid of, I believe, the, opposite, the opposition is most afraid, is that we're going to show that conservative leadership can make public education successful once again. I think you might be right about that. Have you ever sat down, and I, I know you've made an attempt with Reverend Barber, and you also have uh, the Greater Schools and Wake Coalition. I think that's Yvonne and uh, Raleigh Fist I'm not too familiar with. But these are individuals that have been pretty vocal and have attacked the school board every which way. Have you ever sat down and just had a conversation and said, here, here's our data, take a look at it? Well, you mentioned three groups. So one, the, the Fist movement in particular, the three of them kind of work together. The Fist movement in particular uh, has sort of different factions of communists and anarchists, and that's self-proclaimed. You can go on their website and see that. So I personally have not even entertained sitting down with those folks, because that's just not my vision for America or our schools. But for the uh, NAACP folks, you're, you're right. I've offered Reverend Barber the opportunity to sit down with me and have some coffee. I even uh, at one point went on NC Spin with him and offered to continue the dialogue after that and sit down and go through the data. And as for the great schools folks, I've attended many of their forums and went and talked to many of them as well. But, um, these people just have their own agenda. They don't want to hear anything other than what they want to espouse for their own political agenda. Now, what is that agenda, though? I mean, I, I thought everybody loved kids. I thought, John, everybody wanted the best for kids. Obviously, I'm beginning to question a little bit. So what, what is their end game? Well, I mean, I think a lot of this has to do with, you know, politics, unfortunately. And quite frankly, they know right now we have an election coming up. They've already started training. Uh, there's five of the nine board member seats that are up, Mr. Morgiata, the lone conservative, and then the four Democrats who are on our border up. And they believe that if they could win five seats, as they put it in the title of their recent training, they can take back our schools. To, to some extent, I, I laugh at that because, I mean, they've had the schools for 30 years. We've gotten a hold of them for a year and a half and have made great success. And uh, now they're willing to fight to try and take it back. But, you know, that's their mission. I, I understand it. LeMay, weekdays 2 to 5, News Radio 680 WPTF and WPTF.com.